Yeah, so sorry about that. Uh, I was called away. This album was meant to be on the end of that video that I've just put out now. Uh, what's it called? Rock Cut Structures, lol. Anyway, uh, it's a bit of a shame, but anyway, same kind of lines. I showed you this. This is obviously a machine, right? At one time, and it's now stone. Whether or not it's the imprint of, and it's been encased in this like you get from being on the bottom of the ocean, right? And everything inside is just rusted away, corroded away, and then you get a build up, right? Uh, or if it is literally from things turning to stone and events that we don't know about. I've just noticed that actually, you can actually see like a triangle shape, yeah, and then they've got holes there as if some type of bar went inside there and it was a lid, some type of box and that's just got filled in over time, I've just seen that there it's like a drive, yeah a shaft, a little hole, there's actually one there I actually believe that this was part of this, these were part of this machine yeah, like a drive, yeah anyway there's 25 images here I know that I've shown you this before it was just important to where I'm leading you but when you look at this you can see this here it's actually like a cage yeah you know like a giant bird cage obviously it won't have been a bird cage but you can actually just see it through it right and again this was a built structure yeah from all types of materials right and it's now underground, deep underground, <clears throat> and it's just rock, and they're calling it a rock cut structure, which is what the last video was about, right? LOL. These, I'll show you something similar to this. We got onto this, right? And these were some type of wood or metal. And again, you know, it's turned into stone from whatever it means, right? It's just knowing what you're looking at. I don't really care about the process, people. I'm not bothered, you know. I keep getting people asking me, can you explain the process in what you're talking about, yeah? What's the science? But I don't care about the science. I know what I'm looking at, right? And if you're interested in it, then you can go away and take it further, right? You know, at this stage in my life, I'm not interested. I'm interested in what I'm looking at, right? Uh, but if you think that I'm going to start applying... <laughs> Uh, mainstream scientific methods to this right and answers right well no chance because I'll end up going backwards because everything they believe and I'm talking about everything they believe is complete garbage even the most basic things turns out to be a lie I'm not going to get into it on this video because it's about ancient structures but most of you will know what I'm talking about I think these things in Peru no, I don't think that they've just carved an entire mountain face away to then make these for what? Hanging the coats on? I don't think so. It's actually a shame because I deleted the wrong image. There's one that's slightly further away. I'll try and find it again and put it in a video afterwards. But just over here, there's actually a pleat like that. And what it looks like is you know you've got the cliff face and then you've got this that's kind of embedded into it almost like it's just been pulverized and these were actually well what do they look like they look like uh, bolts yeah rivets the backside of rivets to a ship or whatever I don't quite know I'll try and put my finger on it later and now it's just stone you know, that's what this channel's about. Looking at stuff, coming, coming up with different answers. Yeah. Uh, I'm not saying that everything that I come up with is absolutely correct. But I know this. 80% of the stuff that I've come out with in this channel is the truth. Which is more than what I can say for anybody else. Then there's some that probably, you know, need to do a bit more work on. But <clears throat> I showed you this and this is known again as a rock cut structure. And this was built from wood, girders, whatever. Right, I'll show you the next image. 
right if you can't see this then you need to put some glasses on right so you've got that and then it goes across here you can actually see it up here the reason why I'm showing you this again is because there's a box that I'm going to show you shortly I've still not worked out the exact answers to what I'm going to show you right but uh, you'll see what I mean and then down here and the reason why it's all become stone is I thought that there might have been rubbing geopolymer over it right but I don't think it's granite you know as far as I'm concerned geopolymer polymer only occurs when it, it's in granite from the production of gold right so if this isn't granite then it's some other event and the only one I can come up with is something like what happens on the inside of caves which is what I've talked about and that's why it looks like it's vitrified yeah because it's not vitrification right it's calcification and that's why it looks smooth that's why it is smooth because it runs down the wall yeah and it's just like a plum in it like a builder's plum and it'll just run exactly vertical right but anyway look even the floor looks like it's it were actually floorboards can you see this they look like floorboards and all the lime and that runs out of it and creates a hard surface like what i was showing you in egypt uh, this one at the top of the pyramid the great pyramid of Giza yeah this is the very very top section I showed you that this is actually something almost like a prison cell can you see that yeah and then you get like rivets bolts right you've got that and the end have a look at that and then there's an an O, what used to be an O, and it's filled in. Yeah, can you see that? And obviously, something went in there. I think you know what I'm getting at. Have a look at that, and then have a look at that. Right, this is the box. I'm not saying that the ones in the Serapium, right, were made like this. Because I can't understand how you you would be able to make something like what I'm probably pointing out here but yet yeah, the ones in, in the Serapium are so precise they are actually beyond modern day technology to build something so large and remove so much material from the inside of something so hard and so big that we haven't actually got that technology to within two thousandths of an inch and having each wall inside absolutely precise from one end to the other uh, but what I'm pointing out here can you see these lines look yeah and then you get like plates around here I just find it strange. Anyway, if you can't quite see it, go to make Google page and check this image out. <clears throat> these are the ones on the inside of the Serapium, right? And I think these are different. I mean, yeah, the look it. Uh, but that one that I've just shown you, maybe that was an effort from a lesser civilization. Obviously, with high capabilities, yeah? Trying to emulate this type of thing right but at the end of the day they tell you that this is black granite well they've still not found this quarry for me today they've still not found the quarry where these this black granite this type of granite comes from right so until they find that quarry then i will go on believing maybe that this has turned into this from the stuff that i talk about this in here in Peru you can see that circle there and then that yeah there's actually still a bar sticking out of there almost like that was some anchor system and it spun round and was the bottom of a machine yeah like that it's absolutely no different to that 
<clears throat> this is a wall I'm not sure where it is I've got another one it's a bit sad on it almost looks like a tank but it can't be but this is now stone isn't it uh, this plate here it even looks like a, like a steel plate some type of metal yeah uh, you can see like a bolt here yeah or a bar ran through there and then you tightened it up you had something running through here right and it would drag something but at the end of the day it's turned to stone okay this is the PS de resistance artifact that I have ever seen in all my years of doing this stuff right this is it guys it's here and as it's turned into this material, <clears throat> which I don't know what it's turned into, right, but you know like I've talked about water and the leaching and acting like it's on the inside of a cave, this hole here will have run exactly vertical all the way through, right, but as water and lime, and the lime in it has been, has been puddling up, yeah, for hundreds and hundreds of years, it's turned into like a, like a cup, yeah. You see that? There's no hole that goes directly through there anymore. It's closed it off. It's almost like you can actually see like a chain effect. It's obvious. It looks almost exactly like a bicycle chain, right? When you look at it, inspect this image on my Google page. This one. I've got many of these artifacts. And, uh, you know, when you start to get into the stuff that I'm into, I mean, it becomes cleared on it, you know. This is not leaching of materials or, you know, the inside of a cave. This almost seems to be the length of time that's turned it into this stone, yeah. And it's turned it back into what it originally came from. This thing always makes me laugh. This sh this so-called schist disc in Egypt, right? The Brian Foresters and all them people think that this was made like this from stone. They think this was made from high technology stuff like we've got today. CNC machines, right? You wouldn't be able to CNC, right? Stone like this anyway. This thin, would you? We haven't got the technology to be able to see and see something like that on the back of there. This was obviously some some type of metal, plastic. I don't care what it was, but it's turned into this material. It was part of the machine. It's as clear as day. If you approach this with a rational mind, what do you think it is? What do you think it was made out of stone, yeah? To just suddenly break in your hands, yeah? You know, what do you think would happen to this if you put it onto a, some device and gave it any friction or it started vibrating against something? What do you think would happen to it? I uh, found this a few days ago. Don't know where it is. But again, I think a lot of this stuff happens from water. You know, the minerals that's in water you know mineralization calcification whatever looks exactly something like what's on the end of a large ship doesn't it at the end of the day yeah what you tie ropes around and anchor yourself to uh, a dock you know what i'm getting at this thing i pointed out before and you can clearly see the imprint look yeah and this swung open and shut. Can you see that? It's as clear as day. And it's red because it was metal and it's rusted away. And all you're left with is the imprint. This is why there is no technology. Yeah? When you're in this field, they keep saying, where's all the technology gone? Yeah? But there's no technology for any of this stuff. Well, obviously. What do you think would happen to everything we've got after a few thousand years? Or, and especially after events like what we seem to be looking at and pointing out.
found this one for you the other day. It's very similar to the image that I've just shown you. And again, this is not vitrification, right? It's either calcification or, I mean, it literally looks like steel. Yeah. You can still see the imprint of this device and how it worked. Or do you think this was some decoration? Right? Kind of, you know, moulded from soft stone and then vitrified. <laughs>